Now to a live look at Tampa International Airport tonight. The future of flying is nearly here. You could soon see air taxis connecting communities across Tampa Bay. Just hours ago, Legion St. Pete took a step forward, bringing the technology to our area. And 10 Tampa Bay News reporter Chris Hurst joins us live in St. Pete tonight. Chris, the city could be one of the first to compete with traditional rideshare companies by air. Yeah, that's right, Dave, and it would be fitting for Tampa Bay to be a leader in this new aviation technology. We're here at the St. Pete Pier where there's actually a statue honoring the world's first commercial airline flight. That happened between St. Pete and Tampa more than 100 years ago. But that airline also folded in less than a year, something leaders here say today they wouldn't want to see again. A new age in aviation is taking off. You always want to be leading when, when some big change is coming. With final rules from the FAA, the race is on for startups in advanced air mobility, which includes vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, or VTOLs. There is a huge business application uh, with any emerging technology. It's timing it right and making sure it's to a point of maturity that we're not entering too late but we're not too early where the entire market shifts. Tonight, the St. Pete Aviation Task Force, created by City Council, learned more about the industry some analysts think could be soon worth billions and how air taxis could shuttle passengers between Tampa Bay airports. What they've told us to do is investigate it because it is the next element of aviation that's coming. And it is coming. It's, it's going to come whether we like it or not. But new aviation ideas have sputtered before. Tampa Bay had the world's first commercial airline, but it closed in months once a subsidy ran out. And Tampa International hosted the first test flight for a commercial VTOL two years ago. But that company, Volocopter, is already out of business. You know, there's a lot of companies uh, back uh, when aviation first started that aren't around anymore. And that's kind of where we are right now with this, with this brand new technology. We're on the leading edge. Who knows where it's going to go, but it's exciting. It's fun stuff. Now, it's estimated that commercial air taxis could be in operation in just a few years. Some operators think, as far as cost goes, that with widespread adoption, a trip from here to Tampa International Airport would be about $80, the same as a trip with Uber Black. Live in St. Petersburg, Chris Hurst, 10 Tampa Bay News.